are getting are new and improved. Uh, good friend of mine, John Holt, has a product that we can't say either one of those about. Nope. <laughs> and it doesn't need to be improved. Exactly. Go, I did. It's good to see you. <laughs> We've had over a million QVC customers who have bought rubber brooms from John Holt and the Don Asper Cleaning Corporation. What is a little different is that we've changed the color. That's all. I still have the original. We're going over, we're going back 17 years. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the originals were done in blue and yellow. Right, we just changed the color of the top. Now we're blue talking purple. purple. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but this is the, the original. This is the rubber broom. Mm -hmm. And we've seen brooms that have been every, made from everything from plastic to natural materials like palm leaves. Here's one that I found in the corner of the QVC building. Okay. Just, it just sits on the floor and it just curls up. So this one really isn't going to sweep very much, okay? That's not what a broom is supposed to look like. It, it just doesn't perform that way. Everybody's had one of these in their life, right? Sure. Okay. Well, time for something not new, not improved, just different. But it works. <laughs> okay. It does come with the pet brush, and I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Okay. There's 500 rubber fingers on here. They're all exactly the same length. They never lose their shape. There's Y flaps on the back that gets all the fine stuff like salt, sand, sugar. This was originally used by people who are in the baking industry to get flour up well, off floors. baking and the hair salon industry. Right. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you down here on some dark hardwood flooring. Okay. Now, what I've done is I've taken some really light dog hair. Okay. It's really fine, really light. There's sugar back here, which is really fine, and I got some rice back here. Now, I'm just gonna slide it, just a couple inches to show you. You see how all the hair goes into a straight line? That's because the rubber fingers, 500 of them, they all basically come together, and no other broom has this. These extra wide flaps on the back, that acts like a dry squeegee. And by the way, this has a squeegee for your car windows. If it's snowing out, you mm -hmm. can probably use it today if you have one. But here, when you sweep, the, the broom is over a foot wide, so you're sweeping 12 inches at a time, you don't miss a crumb. This is perfectly clean. You don't leave any dust or residue behind. They're not long bristles that flick the dust in the air like a straw broom. So when you sweep with this, all the dust stays on the floor, okay? You can use it as a push broom outside on a deck or sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Inside, I always pull with it. Now, if that's not impressive enough, I want to show you a real challenge over here. Now, on this carpet, I've oh, got- Oh, this looks familiar. <laughs> I've got tons of pet hair. I've got some popcorn on here. And but, <laughs> pine needles. Pine needles, because everybody's <laughs> going to be taking the tree down if you haven't already. And even if you vacuum, some of these needles get stuck right down into the fibers of this deep pile carpet. Now watch, when I sweep this, it's a little different than sweeping a floor. Short I'm strokes. Short brushing strokes. Basically what that does is it rakes the hair, the sand, the dirt, the pine needles right out of the carpet fibers. If you've ever done this with your shoe and your vacuum wouldn't get a piece of lint uh -huh. off the carpet, that's rubber. That's exactly what the broom is. Now, the, the rubber fingers on this, Dan, are two inches long. So you should get about 200,000 miles out of this before you can wear it out. 200,000 miles. <laughs> well, I still have the original from 17 years well, exactly. ago. Exactly, that's, that's the whole idea. And by the way, if you get it dirty, you rinse it off under the sink, yep. okay? If you want to, here's what restaurants do. They unscrew it and they put it right through the commercial dishwashers. They're indestructible, okay? And by the way, it's a steel pole. Yeah, steel handle, and that standard pole thread. And also comes into play with things like uh, paint rollers, et cetera, mm -hmm. to give you extension on that. Okay, so. now let me show you the hand brush real quick because right. if you've got pets, Hopefully your pet doesn't shed like this, okay? Now, rubber, what, basically what rubber does is it, it breaks the static charge that the hair has with your clothes. Now, when I do this, you see what happens. Instead of using a lint roller or one of those sticky brushes that you rinse off in the sink so it clogs your drain, uh -huh. look at this. Perfectly clean, simple as that, very soft. And you notice how this comes to a point. Anybody have a carpeted staircase? You know right in that corner, the you're going to really dig the hair out. And your car seats, this will dig the hair out of the corner of your car seat. Wonderful. And you get both. Yes. Now, over here, let's, let's do the real challenge, if you don't mind. Sure. With, for standard safety safety, glasses. safety first. Now, right. I, again, I've got pine needles on the, on the tile floor. I'll show you real quick again. Now, because the head is already angled, all the rubber tips point straight down. You don't miss anything, even in the grout lines. You see how we got all those pine needles? But here, let's make it a worse day. I'm going to take not one, but I'm going to take two light bulbs. Now, if you've been taking your tree down, if anybody still has all of those glass bulbs, uh -huh. you know what happens when they shatter? You ever walk on that with your bare foot? Oh, boy. Okay, now there's a ton of glass all over, even in the grout lines, as you can see. Now, when I sweep this, what I'm going to do here, Dan, is I'm going to go over this side once. I'm going to go over this side once. Okay. And here's what we do. We're gonna do a little test here at my hand. I'm gonna rub as hard as I can, 
even deep in the grout lines, there's never a sliver left. It's all back here where I swept. And if you look at the broom, it's perfectly clean. Over 700 sets have been ordered this morning. We'll add that to the, the 50,000 sets in this new configuration that we're making them available. Over a million customers have purchased the original. Most people's homes don't have a squeegee in them. Right. Almost any factory or, or workshop has a squeegee. Mm -hmm. And yet, people at home don't realize just how easy it is to go ahead and use a squeegee yeah. for scrubbing. If this is your garage floor, you can use this with a degreaser. Chemicals won't hurt the rubber head. Let me just flip this over real quick. I'll show you how the squeegee works. Yep. Boom, done. So if you got a flood in the basement, you drive your car into the garage, the snow melts off, squeeze it right out the garage door. It's great for when we get back in the spring and you're washing cars to get the water off your vehicle. So Brush the snow off your spot. car too. Yep. <laughs> We're going to say hello to Ginger. Ginger is phoning in from North Carolina. Hi, Ginger. Ginger, good morning. Hey. How are you? Oh, gosh, seriously, I can't live life without one of these brains. <laughs> okay. That's saying a lot. <laughs> I, I, I haven't ever heard that extreme, but Ginger, how come? Well, I use it not only inside the house, but outside the house also. It's perfect for using on the patio to get the bird seed. Yep. Oh, yeah. And uh, we use it on the driveway for the leaves. It's much better than a rake. It is. It really is. You can sweep sidewalks, driveways, basements, decks, you know, when the little leaves fall down in the rakes, spring. Rakes all have a gap between their tines. This has no gap whatsoever. It creates a wall of rubber that things can't get by. And you can scrub with it as well as squeegee, as well as broom. Right, and that's a garage floor. Again, you can rinse it off. Here's what, I keep one in my truck all the time just for this. The rubber fingers gets between the lines of the bed liner. Uh -huh. Now here's a patio with some deep grooves because it's basically like unilock blocks. It'll get right down into those cracks and crevices to sweep it clean. And again, if you got pets in and out of your vehicle, use the pet brush, keep it in your glove box. Works wonders. Ginger, how long have you had yours? Oh, I've had, I had three, and I've given them as gifts, uh -huh. and then I have a backup for myself um, about six months. Okay. Uh, and they're perfect. I, I, Ginger, I still have the original. When I met John 17 plus <laughs> years ago, and you basically can't kill them, so you'll have yours for a very long period of time. Well, I look forward to it because it sure does make cleaning so much easier. And it, nobody's hobby is cleaning, is it? <laughs> Ours no. is. Yeah, well, that is true. <laughs> You're not a normal individual, no, I know. Yeah. Ginger, thank you for your phone call. Enjoy your day in North Carolina. Happy thank New Year you. to you. Thanks, Bye -bye. Ginger. Bye-bye. So indoors, outdoors, wet or dry, it's, it's really the last broom you'll ever buy. Let's show them this demonstration, okay, please. Okay, here. Now, look, if you're going to do windows, this even does windows, okay? I'm just going to squirt a little, you know, solution on here. Yeah, I've taken the handle and just shortened it up yeah, for you. Yeah, you can use the rubber fingers if you have bugs. This could be your car windshield, by the way, if you got all the dead bugs I on there. I have a motor coach. I right? can't reach the top of the windshield. Exactly. I do, we've done RV I shows with, with this. this broom. Yep. When you use that squeegee, look it. That's perfectly clean where I squeegee. You can't get anything better than that. Everybody that's needs a squeegee. That's how professionals do windows. <laughs> exactly. That's how they do windows on high-rise buildings. <laughs> yep. So here, here's, here's the thing. Everybody has one of these or a nylon broom. This is what they all do after a while. And if you get grease on this from the garage floor, You're you done. don't bring it back in the house. This is washable. You can't wear it out. I mean, if you wear this out, we're going to give you a gold star. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but again, on carpet, this is what really impresses me, Dan. You take your Christmas tree down. You've got the pine needles. If you've got pets that lie down, they're going to be shedding in a month, okay? My dog sheds twice a year. Six months at a time? Six months in the winter, <laughs> yeah. six months in the summer, okay? Now, I, here's the thing. I'm not pressing on the broom. Now, if you get the broom home and you sweep the carpet, you're going to think it doesn't work, Yeah, okay? on carpet, short Short strokes. strokes, and the lighter you press, the better it works, because really what you want is the rubber tips to touch the carpet. If you press down on the broom, you lay the rubber flat, mm -hmm. you want the tips to do the work. So let the broom do the work. And again, let me show you one more time with the pet brush. If you got pets that sit on your lap, okay, or on your furniture, everybody has these things, the, the tape rollers, pretty soon you're out of the refill. This works for a little bit, but you're gonna need half the roll, okay? Watch this. And before you get that much hair on you, use it on your pet, it's a pet brush. We, we've put these in pet stores before, and just by soft. themselves. Yeah, very soft, very Pets soft. don't even mind it. Uh, it's just tried and true. It's a product that we know works. You'll use it, and you'll use it often. We've got a price.